take a look at the cognitive model and see how it applies to parenting, because I think it can help delineate what's actually happening in some tougher parenting situations. So sometimes there'll be a situation where your kid does something that you don't really like, and all of a sudden you find yourself going from what looks like the situation right down to this last box, which is behavior. So you are yelling at your kid or you are threatening them or you're doing something that you're like, uh, feels like it falls right from what they did right to your behavior. And what's true is there's actually a couple steps in between. And your power lies in understanding those steps and knowing that you have time between what they do and how you respond. And therein lies your power. So a situation happens, you have thoughts about that situation. Those thoughts are going to lead to feelings about your situation. And then you have choices about how you're going to behave. So let's say the situation is my kid comes in through the door and throws his jacket on the floor. I'm standing nearby and I say, hey, could you please pick up your jacket and hang it up? And my kid keeps walking away. Okay, so that's the situation. So my thoughts might be, I asked him to um, pick up his jacket and he totally disrespected me and walked away. So maybe that's what I'm thinking. My feelings are I'm pretty angry and frustrated. And then if I go and with that anger and frustration, I might decide to go and yell at him and say, hey, didn't I ask you? I just asked you to pick up your jacket and you just walked away. I can't believe you did this. And I explode at him. Okay. If I can take some time to realize that, okay, he just walked away. I asked him to pick up this jacket. I'm having some thoughts. Um, are those thoughts necessarily true? No, they are not. Um, it's good to know that everything that comes through my brain may or may not be true. Um, so maybe if I take a moment to have consider my thoughts, I might be like, okay, well, maybe he didn't hear me. That, that's a possibility. It is a possibility that he did hear me and he's just ignoring me. Or maybe he's um, so caught up in something that happened in school, so emotional that he really isn't able to kind of take in this information at this point. Okay, so different thoughts that I have are going to lead to different feelings and then different behavior. So to the degree I can stop and pause myself and not react immediately, I'm going to have insight and capabilities of responding in better ways to tough parenting situations. So this cognitive flow, know that not every thought you think is true and that your thoughts are going to lead to your feelings, which then are going to influence how you're going to behave. So you have a lot of power knowing that there is time to figure out the best way you want to react to your child rather than just feeling like you're constantly in a react mode to whatever they're doing.